Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. This is gonna be the continuation from my previous previous live noting where I'm trying to kind of make like a, this setup where one can just write something using grease pencil like a it's a Chinese lettering or Japanese kanji uh, yeah, whatever, whichever you want to use it's basically I want to investigate um, grease pencil strokes and then <clears throat> want to be able to have control over the strokes and after um, I asked this question at the Spreadshock uh, GitHub and then some of the Spreadshock developers helped me to achieve uh, something that I think it might be useful uh, for me to continue with this one so this is the latest that I have um, I'm using this script um, script note from Nikitron and this one can load all the grease pencil that's currently on screen then I think that's a uh, really useful um, that's the whole script basically and what happened at the moment this is like the, the setup I made so we can do something like this it's quite neat so whatever grease pencil that's on the screen we can sort of trace from the start to the end we don't need to worry about the like uh, the gap and then the connecting strokes etc this is more like um, how, how can I say it's more uh, numerical or it's, it's now like becoming like a raw data that you can use in Spreadshock if I make like another stroke like this you know it's updating in real time and we can resample it and see I tried it with all kind of uh, strokes and I can resample each and every stroke as well um, the only limitation is that uh, um, each strokes will have the same uh, number of sampling what I mean is like if I draw like a like a happy face here and updates fair chop you see the outer circle is like really really long stroke so the, the resampling doesn't work quite well on that that one I need to increase the sampling and it will affect the whole thing and then this guy smaller circle have too many samples yeah that's the only limitation at the moment um, if there is a way to kind of measure the length of each stroke and then and then somewhat sampling it based on the length that's a uh, the result will be much better but you can actually control the sampling manually if you jump into um, this guy I think the sampling currently is only like a single value <clears throat> if I'm not wrong currently we have one two three four four strokes if I um, if I use formula maybe plug this guy into the, the count <clears throat> well I was hoping this actually works <clears throat> it might actually works let me try okay maybe this is like 20 oh yeah yeah apparently this is actually working um, this is how you can control the sampling of each stroke so the the middle circle maybe 10 10 for the eyes and then the mouth maybe 12 yep that's a uh, that seems to be working so that's the way you can kind of control the sampling of each of the strokes yeah so how did I get to this point okay uh, I might actually I gonna save this and then I continue from the uh, from where I left um, from from this uh, github qu uh, question and answers so this is the one I came out with before I made a little bit of a little bit of modifications I'm gonna grab that this is like a clean 
Blender, like a default blend file. I'm gonna switch to compositing. I'm gonna turn on spread chalk and then new node setup. So this supposedly gonna just this can import grease pencil somehow. Import just paste the gist into this guy and then import and blender crashes. Don't worry, we just gonna start from scratch. It's always the case whenever I make a new file, it's rather it's better to just restart Blender, make a new file, and then do stretch up. It tends to crash. Well, that's okay. Um, let's let's continue. Um, start fresh. Okay, and then. Switch to compositing, stretch out new, import, paste the gist code in here, import. Okay, uh, I just need to the last number actually, just those and import. Okay, we have the stuff happening. This guy will import the script script note from Nikitron as well. So this guy. And this guy is this thing, the script node. Okay, we are ready to go. Let's see what's happening at the moment. Um, let's just draw field spiral update. Okay, seems to be working. Let's save this. Spray chalk, grease pencil, import. Let's investigate what's going on. At the moment, actually, I make it a little bit too complicated, actually. Um, we don't need to do it this way. Currently, what we have is uh, something like this. There's a sine wave that's kind of drawing the stroke, and then it goes back and forth because of this uh, map range. We don't, um, and I can, we can select the stroke. Okay, that's the first one. And the second stroke, and the third stroke. This is a, this is a, the setup that I I um, I copy and paste in here. You can use it, um, but I'm gonna make a modification. So this is, I wanna make this more useful. So we don't need all this uh, sine wave stuff. It's kind of a silly thing that I did. Um, Let's see, list slice, vector interpolations. Okay, we don't need this guy. Delete, okay, and then I believe this is the resampling. CUV connection, this is all the crucial thing that we need, basically, so. This is um, grease pencil loaded. I'll, I'll name it this properly. So grease pencil import. It's gonna import whatever grease pencil that's uh, on screen, I think. So reload. Clear. And reload. Plug in the vertices there and we have our thing. This is the setup to get the uh, particles. Uh, I mean, to get the strokes okay this one two three is kind of filtering the strokes we don't actually need that either we can just plug this guy into that guy and we we can work on all the strokes at the same time so now it's doing the resampling okay the this this and this are doing the resampling I'm gonna join that as well so this to do the filtering of the of the strokes <clears throat> I'll rename this and I'll, I'll give you the setup after finish recording. This is filter the stroke. This one resampling. Stroke. Because it's important to be able to resample the grease pencil. And then this is the UV connection. This is the connecting the strokes into edges. So this is you want this as well because if say 
you finish with spread chalk and you, you bake it, you're gonna get this and this and this, you know. You can further work with that. Um, at this point, actually, if I if I make anything like a uh, draw a happy face and update Blender, you know, SketchUp will generate this. Like I said, the resembling needs to be uh, enhanced. Um, we, need, we need a way to get the length of the all these strokes, the length of the strokes, and then resemble it based on the length. Anyway, the what's next? Uh, I'll try something else. Yep, that seems to work. And if you want to actually kind of grow these strokes all together at the same time, you can use um, list slice. Let's try this real quick. Level level one is doing that. Okay, so this is uh, one way you can animate it. But although this is not very uh, not very natural, it's drawing every stroke at the same time. Not very natural. Like uh, if you're if you have like uh, the writing. The other day we learned how to write a. Uh, I think that's how you write it. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. I have to check this here. It's a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I. I did it the wrong way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's correct. Okay. Now if we use this, okay, it's drawing the stroke at the same time. Not very useful. The easiest way is actually to uh, mesh join. This is gonna combine the mesh into a single mesh. And right, if, if I bake it, you know, it's just gonna be a single, single object with all the strokes. You can, um, of course, easily turn this into. Um, and growing animations again, just use this slice into the vertices, level 1, and then there you go, that's uh, that's much better, you can see the stroke one by one, and this is uh, this is very good if you want to learn like uh, kanji strokes or Chinese, uh, Chinese lettering, yeah try learning 2000 of these and then it's it's gonna help your brain kind of remembering the steps and combo. That's why um, some Japanese people, maybe Korean and Chinese, are really really good with uh, programming because they understand this, they remember these strokes and I don't know, it's something uh, I think. Okay, so what else can we do with this? I'm gonna give you this uh, node setup. It's it's rather simple, you know. But it's really useful. It it grabs whatever uh, whatever writing you have in here. That's the letter for. Uh, I think it says I. It's say wall. I don't know my my Chinese language skill is pretty rusty. I yeah, anyway. That's uh, how you write I. Um. And you know you can. What you can do next is um, perhaps you want to do a little bit more. 
because remember this is spread chalk and then you can always like randomize input vertices and do like a crazy random stuff you know nothing can stop you and if you if you do like a more resampling this guy can easily look in like this right this can be useful um, if I'm not wrong um, you can also I think Spreadshock has pipe and Spreadshock has a lot like uh, poly frame polyline viewer is a it's gonna output like a curve although yeah that's that extra bits that's connecting the stroke I don't I don't really like that maybe if I plug in the, this guy into that guy it's gonna give different result yep that's actually interesting like <clears throat> If you use this UV connection and plug into this guy, it's gonna create seven strokes, and you get this uh, separate strokes. Very, very neat. But of course, in order to make it grow, you need to mess join it. Uh, well, that's a different case. Anyway, different scenario delete everything in the 3d and then we can use pipe I believe pipe is gonna pipe gonna turn every edges into a pipe so ah yeah it's a uh, cool and that's better um, cup round size 0 0.05 round cup fill well it's kind of connecting the whole thing and this is also these nodes need to be enhanced I think the pipe and the poly polyline viewer need to be enhanced at the moment it's doing it's connecting all the lines yeah I don't quite like that either back to this guy so we have this working at least what can we do um, so instead of line, instead of worrying about UV connection and line, etc., we actually can make our own like a scattering of maybe scattering of boxes. I'll show you what I mean. Um, this is UV connection mesh join, so we can use this guy into the matrix in. Let's say you use a circle, okay? This is a really the power of spreadshop. You can use anything to kind of generate anything. Um, that's probably not what you want, but uh, it's quite interesting. Maybe 0 0.05. Don't show the points, just show the circle. Okay, that's, uh, that's all right less sampling maybe 50 and less vertices of the circle the radius can be controlled there matrix you can randomize the scale randomize the rotations and the angle uh, usually I'll I'll do it like this uh, random number generator float value is going to be the scale
how many of this guy so we can randomize it okay that's a one where you can randomize the scale and then you can also randomize the rotation and angle or uh, you can always use a randomize input vertices here there you go <clears throat> we can switch to the other one okay <clears throat> and then rotation and angle oh, we don't really need rotation and angle really for this mm, it would be nice if the circle is following the stroke the normal of the strokes but that's another problem rotations and random vector how many you don't know the angle can be from this guy minus 180 to 180 yeah just randomize everything like so so that that works well I guess list slice okay we forgot to put this let's just do it like that so now we can control the how the stroke is growing from first points until from the first stroke point by points and then the next stroke next one and the next one until it completes okay so you have a lot of control and remember that each of the circle is actually a real thing a real mesh object in this case we don't we are not using instancer if you want this to be faster you can use a stretch of instancer dupli instancer will work if you want it like super fast you can I think you can do this I if I'm not wrong dupli instancer have bugs that I have not mentioned to stretch out developer I don't think it works with the frame numbering I don't know maybe it will crash we will see you can always use the particle instancing actually that's much more um, stable anyway try this monkey and plug in the matrices stuff here and we have the monkey object this is really really fast by the way this is very interactive and if this doesn't crash we are good so it doesn't crash when we change this but if I change the the timelines sometimes it crashes no it seems to be pretty good yeah um, matcap and this I'm gonna save this real quick what's going on there uh, <laughs> interesting but that's a uh, monkey head writing the letter beautiful really ugly <laughs> hand lettering by the way but we can always make a, a new one let's say let's try one two three four five six seven eight nine updates okay there you go this is the updates randomize the seed you can have that you can really it's a little bit like particles but this is all procedural and you can animate this guy yep I think this one is pretty useful even though I didn't plan this really but yeah I somewhat we get somewhat we get this setup so I guess this is pretty useful and I will share it with you I just gonna give you this uh, this whole setup
file. Remember, if you're if you're using Spreadshock and then you make your the node tree that's useful, maybe you can share it as well. Spreadshock grease pencil drawing. Just grease pencil import, I guess. Or resampling instancing instancing. It's good. Spreadshock grease pencil instancing save. It's gonna be the JSON, and you can just load it the next time uh, you want to do something like this. It's gonna be pretty easy, you know. So just draw, draw anything, okay? Um, like a pink face, and then update, and we have this. Where's the Where's the Suzanne one? Well, it makes the circle. Where's Suzanne? Ah, there you go. That's interesting. It keeps changing place. Maybe. Well, anyway. Uh, there you go. That's uh, the live nodding another live noting session. If you have any questions, comments, feedback down below, um, let me know. And I guess I'll see you in the next live noting video.